Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, this is just going to be a channel where I upload my programming progress. Uh, it's nothing special. I'll just be uploading projects I do. Um, in this case, I'm uploading one I did last year, but it's it was kind of a big learning curve for me, this one. And it's the first project I did in Visual Basic. Um, so, I'll get onto it. What this project actually is, is, is it is a proxy rotator and checker. So, you'll load a list for the text file. The text file has to be in a specific format, which will be this. So, port, and then just, yep, open. And then, you can set the interval. I'll set it to, actually, just to display its capabilities, which we'll set it to like 10 milliseconds. And what that's going to be doing, it probably would not be responsive even if you're using like premium proxies but it is constantly changing the IP address disable I'll probably set that something a little less drastic actually I'll show the proxy checkers capabilities as what I'm using is just junk proxies um, straight from a database on the internet like proxy DB and they probably won't work, so I'm just going to check the ones that actually respond. Even if they do respond, they probably have a password on them, so they still won't work. They'd be like one of those pro proxies where you have to log in and whatnot. But this is uh, checking the proxies to see if they respond. If enabled fast proxies, it and check for proxies um, that respond within 300 milliseconds. But I did mess up with this because I actually did this um, proxy checking on the UI without doing I didn't do it on a background thread I should have just loaded the proxies to an array and checked them on a background thread rather than them using the AI and then I could, probably still could have had the progress bar but um yeah I don't know why I didn't do that uh, credit this last year if I did it today I probably would have done that but I didn't really think about it at the time see it's completely unresponsive and still close it, just right click, but I'm not going to do that. I'll wait for it to finish, and then I'll show the output folder. It's taking its time. It's probably taking its time because it has to wait 500 milliseconds before it goes onto the next proxy to check. I'll probably do some type of multi-threading to make it go quick, but yeah, I didn't take it that far. I didn't even expect to, for this to go as far as it did. It was just a project that I kind of worked on, on and off for a while. I enjoyed doing it. And then it just got to the state where, uh, I just, it, you know, it fulfilled its capabilities and what I wanted it to do, so I didn't feel the need to go any further on it. It's nearly done. There we go. In the output folder, there we've got our list of proxies. Now I can clear the lists and load up this new list. I can activate just one at a time if I wanted to. See? It displays the currently selected proxy. Um, but I'll rotate. Yeah, not that fast. Now I'll do it every five seconds. Yeah, I'll see if some of these are actually responsive. I couldn't see much uses for this. Maybe if you wanted to stay anonymous and also have no trail on the internet. So if you're using premium proxies, you know, you, you kind of wouldn't be like, you wouldn't really live a trail as you navigate through it, hyperlinks or whatnot. I don't know why you want to do that. I guess you could use it for some type of low level underperforming view bot. Or, I don't know. Yeah, none of these are responsive because they're just junk proxies. Yeah, that's probably all I've got to show. I'll be uploading the source code 
probably just the project actually. And then I'll just uh, put it in the description. Anyone can download it. Not that anyone's gonna want to. I might in the future just to look back on how much I've progressed. Maybe if this channel builds up to a portfolio I can use in the future. Um. Alright. Thank you for watching.